You may have seen shiny emerald bugs, Japanese beetles chomping away in your garden. So these hungry pests can leave plants with tattered foliage and flowers, also damage your lawn. So we Skyped with Karen Bachman Tool from Bachman's to help us understand how to keep these bugs under control. Karen, always great to see you. We're talking about Japanese beetles and oh, we know they can be so destructive. They can be destructive, and I'm sorry to say that they have been sighted in the Twin Cities. I myself found some on my rose bushes, and usually that's what they go to first. And so they're an invasive species. Uh, you can identify them. They're actually a very pretty bug. They're um, a small, shiny emerald bug, but boy, do they love roses, any foliage, any fruits. Um, and while their damage is uh, doesn't ruin the plant, it is rather unsightly. So we have some solutions, of course, for those battling the beetles. What does it do? If it doesn't damage it, what does it do to it? Yeah, so you can identify their damage because um, it basically looks like a skeletonized leaf or flower. So it will completely mow down um, a bloom, like a rose bloom. Otherwise, when you're looking at your foliage, it may look lacy to you where you can see through it or it's skeletonized, oh, meaning okay. that it'll eat the flesh of the leaves, but not the veins. Hmm. Um, huh, and okay. so they just, they chomp away at that and they're very happy. Um, and then eventually in the fall, they burrow down into the lawns and that's where you can have lawn damage. I so okay. it's, but it, it's Looks like they don't like dish soap. Yeah, what's the dish soap down here for? They don't. So this is um, this is the method that I use. It's the most natural method. Um, and so there's no spraying involved. Um, so you fill a bucket of uh, water with dish soap, and then you put on your gloves and knock those beetles in, um, and they drown. Um, what happens when if you smush a beetle um, or if you smash it, it actually releases pheromones, and that attracts other beetles. Oh, no. Um, and so don't attract other beetles. Um, and so this is the most effective uh, okay. way uh, to do it. Otherwise, we certainly have other solutions um, that are spray or dust based, um, including um, Japanese beetle killer. Um, and then we have something called Bonide 8. Um, great product. Um, it will deter Japanese beetles for several weeks. However, don't use it on fruits and vegetables. Mm. What about this? Yeah. I see the Japanese beetle trap down here. How does that work? So this is one of those things that's a little bit controversial, depending on what your philosophy is. So this is actually using pheromones um, of the Japanese beetles to attract the beetles to the bag. So people think that it brings beetles to your yard or attracts them from your neighbor's house. But there is something satisfying about seeing all of the beetles in a bag. Um, so it is up to you to make your own decision of um, what your philosophy is on that. Another great option is neem oil, completely natural. Um, and it, while the effectiveness takes time to build up, um, it's still another really great option. Do you have to use these all summer long? You do. Um, okay. And if it's, you know, we're kind of into the summer solutions type of thing where we are battling against um, beetles, critters, heat, humidity. And so a lot of those issues um, or things to troubleshoot in your garden start emerging now. And we've certainly had a wet spring. So you might see some things pop up where you're like, that doesn't look quite right to me. Um, but that's where we can help. All right. Karen, as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for your insight. You bet.